Okay, yeah. so yeah, it should be. Thank you. Make sure your volume is up. Everything gets turned down in this department. Okay. <laughs> Picture not having, um, not being able to by the government to have alcohol or booze in that case able right at your fingertips. world uh, today in the U.S. uses uh, these beverages to really use it for partying and for to just to celebrate anything good that's happened in the world or in their lives today. Something happened back then where it wasn't legal, where it was fine to drink and consume alcohol. Prohibition was enacted with the passage of the 18th Amendment in January 1920. This is um, this was stated in one of the amendments in the early 1800s. And many Americans cheered the passage of this law. The U.S. was so excited and celebrated this statement that's passed by the government. Prohibition, or the push for prohibition, had actually started many years earlier in the 1840s during the first great religious revival in this country. The push for these laws first began in the middle 1800s. Religious uh, organizations often argue that alcohol led to the breakdown of the family unit and brought about uh, many issues that could be avoided if alcohol wasn't allowed to be drunk. Many churches and Bible studies were for, were really against it first because they felt as if um, they felt as if it would break away families and separate the families and the relationships they have between one another. As the years went on in the 1800s, the Women's Union took control of this situation. Again, prohibition was passed in January 1920, and to repeat, it was specifically prohibiting the manufacture, transportation, and sale of alcohol. And this law was passed in the early 1900s, and this law really was prohibiting the manu the people who made the beer or alcohol to now import it all. Now they never made the drinking of alcohol illegal. Uh, for religious and medicinal purposes, people could still drink alcohol in any ship more than three miles off the coast of the United States was also considered as exempt from prohibition. If you were a couple of miles away from the U.S., then you were allowed to drink and it wasn't considered against the law.
People argue that prohibition never really achieved what it set out to do, because almost as soon as the law was enacted, organized crime rose. Mob bosses oversaw the smuggling of alcohol over the uh, Canadian border into the United States. Many individuals um, were not happy about this, and a lot of them had an uproar, and many groups of people really saw what was happening, and they were not liking it. And it was still good when the upper class of the U.S. people, um, when they liked it, they were able to have it. It was easier access for them. All breweries even popped up, uh, and concoctions such as bathtub gin began to be manufactured, sold, and certainly served, often in coffee cups. Some hard alcohol started to started to be able to have access to people in such as cups that you have your gel in the morning. If the law never broke into a speakeasy or a place reputed to be selling or manufacturing alcohol, uh, it was often disguised uh, by being served in just that coffee cups. If anyone ever wanted to hide it, they would just put it in that, in that cylinder and no one would know. It would be hidden. Well, finally, after 14 years of illegal trafficking and an increase in crime, the 18th Amendment was repealed with the passage of the 21st Amendment. After a decade and a half, the amendments were also um, revised after this. They kept on making improvements from one another. In 1933, President Franklin Roosevelt was in his uh, first year in office, and the thought to repeal prohibition was considered a wise one. The president at this time also made the law so everyone was happy and they, everyone thought it was a great decision for him to make this law. During the Great Depression, us U.S. Americans were in an uproar because it was a whole controversy over the tax that was happening. Um, people were confused because the, uh, the alcohol that was being bought by us didn't have tax, but the rest was. So the tax was a big issue. And So the use of alcohol and the law for alcohol was appealed in the early 1900s and it went from there.